62 boxes, a quarter of a million pounds, just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. I hope you're enjoying these shows. What a week we had last week. Uh, a selection of contrasting games, except for one fact. It just seemed to me there have been some games recently with players who have come out here and not really thought about the game ahead of their experience. Do remember that you will have to select some numbers and you might care to think about those before we start and also, you might like to think about the way that the banker perceives you. Okay? If you want to play a role, that's great. Just be really good. But if you come out here and give the banker the impression you need money, you are dead. Enough of the lecture. Here are the names. So... Remember, you've got one shot at this. Make sure you're on target. Claire. Claire, the big moment is yours. Please fly down the walk of wealth. To your game. Thank you. Do please be seated. Put your seatbelt on. <laughs> Claire Louise Weaver from Birmingham Cabin Crew. That's right. How long have you been doing that? Oh gosh, eight years now. Eight years? Yeah. Do you want to tell me no. about the uh, vegetarians who <laughs> oh, you served yeah. sausages to? <laughs> well, it did say vegetarian on them. Yeah. What, on the on the yeah on, on, on the, the food on the, on the food you know right. so we gave them all out and then we went back into the galley and we, we opened a few of them and they were actually sausages but not vegetarian sausages but obviously by the time we realised they'd sort of eaten them all mm. so we didn't say anything no no of course not. no it wasn't a lot really you could do at that point <laughs> not is really, it no no <laughs> okay Oh, it's a, it's a lovely little picture. <laughs> Those are my two little babies. I've got Lily Mae, who's uh, three, lovely. and little Benjamin, who's now uh, six months old. Super, super, super. And they are courtesy of Steve. They are, yes. Welcome to the game. Thank you. How's she going to play this, then? Uh, she's got her own plan, I think. She'll be OK. Um, what else? The cover there off. And the husband Steve says she's too laid back and not competitive enough. Oh, hang on, we can get a real yeah. row going. So you are here to prove that you can be a gambler and you can go for it. Exactly. Oh, I like that. Oh, we missed a picture. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, that was on a Scooby holiday. Yeah. Um, and that's my lovely Scooby Doo, who's uh, a little bit poorly at the minute. She's had uh, oh. an accident and she's, oh, no. she's broke her spine. What? Um, her leg. And then a hip, yeah, she was hit by a car last week. So oh, no. She's my little pooch. But is she going to make it? Well, she's had, uh, she had a five-hour operation, 18 pins in her leg and rods and oh. nowhere else. But hopefully, fingers crossed. Scooby. Go on, do the message. Scooby, Scooby, do! <laughs> <laughs> Which is a bit more terrier than Alsatian, really. I, I should have gone it lower. That's really, yeah, I? yeah. <laughs> that's it, that's more like it. <laughs> right then. Are you happy to go on? I am. Good. I need you, please, to confirm you chose box number 12 at random before the game began. I did, indeed. It is sealed by our independent adjudicator who seals all 22 <laughs> boxes as annually as the person does. Well, yes. Good luck, Claire! <laughs> Claire, the big moment is yours. Please fly down the kind of a system but as it's the 8th of March yes. and I was born on the 8th 
8th of September. My daughter was born on the 8th of December. And I got married on the 28th. And my sister was born on the 28th. Eight's a very lucky number. So Lisa has the quarter yes. of a million. I would say so. Yeah. So I'll start the game off. <laughs> oh, God. She's off. Oh, no. I don't know how aware you are, that, but uh, she just goes into giggle fits. <laughs> <laughs> keep her ticking over like that for the rest of the game <laughs> and then uh, we'll all laugh when a quarter of a million comes out of box eight so where are you going i'm going to go for number one maureen please. maureen Still could you please oh and she said number one before and got the she game out of the way with number one to go with the lovely way number three please good luck Claire <laughs> might as well get the 500 out of the way yeah I'm going to go for Carol number five okay Carol Mr. <laughs> Blue I think Ian, number seven, please. Yes. Thank you, Ian. Look. snooker. You should play a lot of snooker. Do you want to chalk your uh, seal? Oh, oh, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> 20 grand. Ooh. That's always a tricky one. The pilgrims never know how to react to the 20,000 because it, it sort of produces a rather nice partition. Um, but it's outside that top right five, which we're all comfortable with. So anyway, hello. Oh, he's agreeing with Steve, who says you're not competitive enough to play the game. Wow. Steve and the banker are going to be proved right. Maybe. Maybe oh. not. Claire hasn't got the bottle to play this game. <laughs> oh, she's going to collapse and crumble the first time I give her a poor offer. This is going to be an interesting one. Oh, okay, you got all of the power five there. Yep. He is now offering you, bearing in mind this always sets the relationship up, a thousand pounds. I think you could make it even worse than that if you want. A thousand pounds! Thank you. <laughs> he doesn't think you've got it. He thinks you're going to crumple like a paper bag. Well, I'm ready for the question. I would have anyway. thought you were. Yeah. A thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Excellent, no. on we go. Thank you. Right, well, I'm going to go with the little Steve. <laughs> and box number nine, please. Little Steve? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Good Steve. Luck, Claire. Thank you, Steve. Yeah. Go for the big Steve. Oh, we're doing both Steve's. <laughs> yeah, number 17. Thank you, Claire. Oh, Mr. Blue. <laughs> right, Claire. 
I think this is getting very, very serious. I cannot recall a game where the banker has been so honest at the beginning to set his stall out. He says he completely agrees with your husband, Steve, and he thinks this is going to be a breeze because you're not competitive enough. I tell you, things are serious, which is why we need Lisa to hand over to the break. <laughs> Do come back. <laughs> Welcome back to lovely Claire's game. Well, she is lovely. She's absolutely delicious. So I don't know why the banker has suddenly decided that uh, he is going to crush you. Uh, particularly when you have a look and see what you've done with the board so far. I'm going to go for the lovely Dirk. <laughs> Box number 11. We're going to the Dirk side, everybody. Claire's game. Uh, what do you mean, who am I kidding? I'm not kidding anybody. We, well, we both know she's courageous. He's merely uh, siding with your husband. I'm agreeing with your husband's view. Uh, I mean, if your husband's got it wrong, then... Phew. No hope. No hope. Huh? Okay. Uh, well, the last bit was goodbye, Claire. And uh, what, he, what he's doing now is uh, giving you an opportunity, as he sees it. Mm -hmm. And nobody has ever walked at the second offer, mm -hmm. but he's going to give you what he describes as a very attractive, a very encouraging uh, offer, so that you can turn around to Steve afterwards and say, there you go, you see, I'm in the Hall of Fame, nobody else has ever walked at the second offer. And I've got £5,000. <laughs> You do make a great noise, you lot. You're very, very unsettling. Oh. Well, five thousand pounds is very nice, but I've got a high, high amount of rates. Okay, now I'm ready for the question. Five thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you, Claire. <laughs> with the lovely Chris oh, the and the newbie. newbie. Oh. Thank you, Chris. OK. Thank you. Good luck, Claire. Thank you. Oh, that's all right as well. So there's the 5,000 you've just been offered. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> it's that top left. That's where you want to have a nibble. Yeah. Number 13, Anna, please. Thank you, Anna. It's been nice knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to go with Colin. OK, Colin, Number complete 19, the round, please. please, and put us back on track. See what I can do. All one around. Oh, quarter million and seventy-five thousand in one round. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Sip up a little. It's all right. We're competitive and courageous. after what happened there with those boxes he says there's no need to play with Claire's mind what Ooh, thank you very much 
much. All red round. When you wait for it. And he says, but I'm going to age up. Seven and a half thousand. Oh. What's that tell us? What does that say? Quite a clever move on his part, that I think. Yeah, seven and a half thousand pounds would be very nice, but. What would you like to say, Derek? Pardon? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think she should keep going. I think you can do it. Okay, I'm ready for the question. Ooh. Seven and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you, Claire. <laughs> This is it. This is the really key round. We go with Alice number 10, please. Give us the first blue, please. Look clear. It's easy, isn't it? If you just ask, you just say please. <laughs> The problem is that top left. Mm. Hello. I'm going to go with Mavis number four, please. I hope it's a blue and I hope it's a pity. Good luck, Claire. Thank you. So good. So, we approach a box. Mm. You have to find one of those three. Okay. Um, and lower the better. David, please, number two. All right, David. Are you a good reader of this game? You're the biggest fan of the game. Do you yeah. find yourself reading it? Yeah, I can read it pretty well, yeah. Yeah? So yeah. do you agree that we've got to have one of those top left? Yes, that is the whole point of the game, removing the low blues. <laughs> I think this is a good moment for a break because I, I don't think you want to see what I'm now about to do to David. <laughs> Can you get the lad from The Shining inside box number two? I'm going to try. See you after the break. This is the lovely Claire. It's Claire's game. You don't want to be over there in that little smug corner over there. <laughs> Dougal from Father Ted and then the giggling Lisa. <laughs> and David, who knows all the intricacies of how to play the game. Are you still going with brain box? I've got to, yeah. OK, David. Seeing you now understand the principle of the game. Yeah. <laughs> would you please give us one of the low blues? Yeah. Right? Yeah, okay. Good luck, Claire. Thanks. If it is a... Well, I hope it's one piece. Oh, that was worth a gasp and a groan. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how recently the 100,000 yeah. has been so influential in the games? Two games last week where it clung on right to the end. Hello. Nice work, David, the banker says. No, your mind games at the beginning definitely did not work on Claire. Then. No, no, no. Ooh, clever man, clever man. Look at the gap. See the hole. That box is now worth £10,000. enough to tickle you 10, out. £10,000 is very nice. I'm ready for the question. No. Are you? Yes. Okay. £10,000. Deal or no deal? 
Thank you very much. Ten thousand pounds is a lovely amount of money, but no dear. <laughs> going to go with number 16, Sherry, please. Come on, Sherry. All the power is in his hands if we do not make serious damage. Top left. Thank you. Well, I do hope this is a penny. I'll be so pleased. So be brilliant if you could do an all blue round it'd be brilliant because it would mean you'd taken two of the top three i'm gonna go with dermot number 20. okay dermot can you do it 1p 10p 50p please it's a blue clara yeah! Sting in the tail, 10p or 50p. Come on. Oh, Can you do it? Sarah, number 22, please. Oh, Sarah, now. 3,000 would be okay. But what we're hoping for is an all blue round and 10p or 50p to go as well. And then she's in a really powerful position. Away you go. Good luck. <gasps> Not one. Oh, whoops. Now we have a very different game. Are you all right? Yes. I think we're about to find out if Claire is a gambler. <laughs> Hello. 100,000 going. That may be a lifeline to you, but the reality is this is still a very strong situation. not a tear in sight. In fact, quite the opposite. I think you've given her extra confidence. <laughs> Whee! Okay, thank you. I'll point that out. Oh, he says it was going to be a lot less. Mm. He was going to offer you six. But he's gone up. Twelve. Well, I thought that would get a reaction. Twelve thousand pounds. Twelve is twelve. Wow. I didn't expect that much. Is that enough? Come on. Claire, it all comes down now to whether you want to gamble. You've got that little one there, you know, as a fallback. It's whether you want to gamble that now or if you're happy to take that home. Claire, don't lose sight. What the banker has just offered is real money. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you can live with going away with 10p or 50p, then it's worth a go, but otherwise take the money. Claire, where do you think the money is? In here or on the box on I've the table? Said if number you think eight. it's in here, then you need to deal because you might not get this one. But I could have 35 or 50 in there. <laughs> could I have the other one in there? Hello. <laughs> Oh, 
Right, he wishes to confirm that you were so um, impressive on the telephone there, the conversation, and um, you resisted his emotional manipulation to such an extent that he most certainly would give you the swap. <laughs> That's very kind of him. What do you think? Well, we've always said we're going to swap him. We get to that stage, haven't we? Well, you always said swap. I always said don't swap. But if it was number eight, I would. Do you feel lucky? That's the only reason to go on. See if you feel lucky. Claire? If you take out the 50,000 and it leaves you with a 35 and say the 10p, your offer's not going to be much more than 12,000 anyway, is it? It's just, I did, I did say that I would like to go right to the end, really. Why don't you, then? Claire, would you be prepared? Uh, would you be prepared to gamble all the way? Because that's the only way you're going to get substantially more. Hello. Than 12, what? My last shot at emotional manipulation. <laughs> Go on. What is it? It's just occurred to you that if she says deal, she'll have proved her husband right. And if she says no deal, she will have proved her husband wrong. Good luck, Claire. Oh, that's me. Well. <clears throat> I think you should gamble. You think I should? Go for it. I'm ready. I'm ready for the question. Are you? Yeah. OK. £12,000, deal or no deal? No deal. Oi! The dream is you leave 35 and 50,000. First box. Number 14, Kieran. OK, Kieran, open the box. Yeah. Yes! Well, we're not going to win with two blues. Yeah. 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 Number 18. All right, George, George, George now. Sure. This is feeling very good at the moment. Is she yeah. actually going to have the perfect round? I hope so. George, pull the seal. But wait, George. Lift the lid. You said you had a feeling about box number eight. You wanted to keep it to the very end. Yeah. So does that mean you're going to turn left and go with six? Oh, you're nearly yes. there. You've nearly, you've nearly created the perfect round at the perfect <laughs> time. Linz, this is amazing. She's at least got a consolation three thousand pounds. Linz, open box number six. Good luck. tried everything else. He's had two shots at you with the emotional pressure. The old psych psychological game. Hello. Yeah, it was brave turning down 12. <laughs> You've got his admiration. You turned down 12,000. He described that as incredibly brave. Your box is now worth 16,000 pounds. <laughs> I've got vet, fee, uh, vet fees to pay, and they're three thousand pound. Right. He said I could have the swap if I wanted. Yes, guaranteed it already. <laughs> or oh, see where this is going. <laughs> That's halfway, isn't it? It's a good offer, though. This. 
<laughs> Someone's twitching up there in row three. And he's the one go go on. Well, he's the one who stated it's in your file that he doesn't I think know. you're competitive enough and you're too laid back. I know. Mark's at 16. We're either going to find out you are true to your word and you're going all the way to the end, or you're going to take Steve's advice and go away with 16 grand. Top of the game. I look at the path. One, five, seven, half, ten, twelve, sixteen. It's a good path. And I've still got three, which is still. But then it's not as good as sixteen, is it? It's a good offer, isn't it? Swap. Spank the banker. Go on. Go to take it. I'll take it to the to the I, end. I now. always said yeah, that. You want Everybody to say always it? says they do, but they don't. And it's one that right. say they do, and they're going to, and don't that lose. If I had that board, I'll take it to the end. I don't know. Three grand still a lot of money, isn't it? Pay the vet fees. Pay the vet fees, nearly. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to swap? Go for it then. So just remind me why eight is so significant. Um, I was born on the eighth. My, si uh, my sister was born on the twenty-eighth. My uh, daughter was born on the eighth. Um, my son was born in two thousand and eight. He got married on the twenty-eighth, and I think that's about it. No. Everything's and about today eight. is the eighth. And today's the eighth. So it all points. There. You said that eight all along. Swap them over and have a gamble. Yeah. yeah cool. Ready for the first one? Yeah. Okay, first of all, £16,000, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. I'm a bit scared now. Well, no, don't be scared. You've given us a really cracking game this weekend. And here comes the second question. Oh. Claire, swap or no swap? A swap. Okay. So, you, right from the beginning of your game, felt that box number eight had some sort of significance. Well, I hope I have just brought £35,000 to the table. I really do. And I do know your legacy for the game tomorrow for the next player will be sensational because the banker will be well hacked off having resisted every single little mental trick he's thrown at you. Here it is. Were you right to invest so much belief so much confidence in box number eight. So good. That is a real feel-good factor. Lisa, will you please reveal the 3,000 and complete a fabulous game? Yes! Really good. Oh, come on, Steve. Come down. This is a good moment to come down. We want to see... Uh... you down here because it did say in the file that you didn't think she was competitive and therefore you didn't think she'd give it a go. I think you have to say sorry. I apologise. <laughs> she is great. She is. She is very, very good. <laughs> Number eight delivered for you on the eight. The last word with you, Claire. You played a brilliant game. My vet fees are actually up to £3,700 a minute. Um, she needs um, a lot more treatment, x-rays, um, physiotherapy, hydrotherapy, so that's going to pretty much be 
be sorted now, so there's no stress on the cost. And, um, it's all right, you don't have to go into that much detail. Got my, <laughs> got my car written I, off so I can find a car to I just wanted to get the feel for the fact yeah, that, yet really again, pleased. deal or no deal has really helped yeah. somebody who's yeah. Brilliant. Claire, Steve, 35,000. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I mean that about the legacy, and it guarantees you'll be with us tomorrow. We're going to have a great scrap. When the banker plays the mind games and fails, we always have a compelling game. See you tomorrow. A few legal problems for the time team. Next.